hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Tenita in today's video I'll be showing you how to adjust and clean texture backdrops at times when we shoot with texture backdrops it tends to have some wrinkle around the edges so guys stick with me to see the step-by-step -step process I follow in achieving a nice looking texture backdrop before we get started feel free to subscribe and if you are enjoying the video make sure you give it a like because it's really help the channel and let me know the kind of content you like the most so guys this is the picture first of all I will need to crop this picture and in order to crop this picture I need to click on my crop tool here this is my crop tool and you can get that by pressing on C on the keyboard and normally I use the Instagram default cropping which is 4x5 and the 4x5 is there so I'll just click on that so it will give me the actual 4x5 then I'll just need to do some adjustment by myself so guys I'm done cropping the image I'll need to fill this downside and the edges over here so to do that I'll need to go to my magic wand tool here you see that it will select the bottom yeah then I'll just um, backspace on the keyboard then press on enter to fill it it has filled it so my main focus is this um, side so to do that so I'll need to first of all go to my um, rectangular marquee tool here so if I click on my rectangular marquee tool I will highlight the path I would like to fill so when I highlight it then I will now use my patch tool here my patch tool is around this side so and you can get that by clicking on G on the keyboard and I will just drag and take it inside like this if you can see that it has already filled that area so I will do the same thing for this side too then I will just use my patch tool to get rid of this wrinkle on the background here like this so I'll just select and drag in So guys when you're using the patch tool you have to be very careful because you can easily make mistake with it and one thing is that you can decide to um, create a layer first before you start selecting and dragging but for me I decided to just go with it like that Okay guys, I'm done adjusting the background. So I feel like the background is not that darker. There are some kind of lights on the background. So in order to adjust that, first of all, I'll need to select the background alone. So I'll do that by clicking on my magic wand tool here. So I'll just select 
the background from the subject. So as you can see, um, some selection are, are on her dress and on this prop. So in order for me to get rid of those selection, I will need to press on lasso tool here. And to get your lasso tool, you can just uh, click on L on the keyboard. So it will just take you straight to lasso tool. So I'll use my lasso tool to get rid of this um, selection on her body and on her dress. Any selection that is inside and you want to get rid of it, you need to click on Alt or Option on the keyboard in order to get rid of that. So that's what I'm doing now. It's kind of inside, I want to get rid of it. So I think that's just the best way to explain that. Okay guys, I'm done um, selecting the subject and the background, so the next thing I'll do is I'll just right click, go to my select inverse here, then click on command or control G on the keyboard, that's to select only the subject, then in order for me to select the background again, I'll need to um, click on command or control on the keyboard again. Then click on this little icon on this first uh, last layer one that I that I just created now. So it will um, select the subject only. Then you now right click and what select inverse again. So go to your background layer over here. Click on Command or Control G on the keyboard. So to select only the background. So what I will do next is. I want to go to my um, camera roll to do some little adjustment that's to darken the background and you I can do anything like maybe change the color of the background to any kind of color I want like maybe add some green to the background you understand so let me just go to camera roll and to go to camera roll you can go to your filter camera roll here or the sh shortest way to do that is by clicking on on command or control shift um, E on the keyboard so it will take you to camera row so this is camera row guys what I basically do here is I'll just go to my FX which is effect here then go to my um, post crop vignetting here so I'll just add some vignettes on the on the background like this so increase the midpoint increase the roughness Add some feather to see my before and after here for what I have just done so I can press on P here you see with this this before this after before after so I can still go to my HSL adjustment here on camera roll. so I can just maybe play with the greens let's add some saturation to the greens yellow to or I will use yellow just play around with it until I've like gotten the perfect um, color I want so I can just decide to add some green you can reduce you can change the background you can do anything you want so I want to just add a little bit of green on the background so I think I'm good so I'll just press on I can you can still press P on the keyboard to see the before and after this is the before and this is the after so guys I'm done here so press ok you can see that the compared to before the background is more defined now compared to how it was before it was kind of just um, pale and there was kind of too much light on the background but now it has added some depth to the overall picture so then I will just I think I'm good with this 
okay guys thank you so much for watching today's video if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you would want to be seeing more of my video make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever i posted a new video